everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Barker Designs. This week on my blog, I am featuring the By My Side stamp set, and I've used it to make a couple of back to school projects as well. Um, today's little project I thought would be a really cute teacher gift. It's a little lunch box, and it opens up to hold two hand sanitizers. Every teacher needs hand sanitizer, but you could also put treats or whatever in there. So I'm gonna show you how to color, and how to create this really cute box. Um, we're using Stampin' Blends. Um, the Skin Tone Stampin' Blends gives you a wide variety of skin tones, however you wanna make him look. Um, and then I'm using Real Red, So Saffron, and uh, Tahitian Tide as well. All right, I think the first thing we'll do is the box, since it's going to need to dry a little bit. Now there's a free PDF over on my blog if you follow the link here on YouTube. That'll give you the measurements and the supply list um, for this project as well as two others. Um, you're gonna need a piece of real red that measures six and a fourth by nine and three fourths. And the long side, we're gonna score uh, one and a fourth, four and a fourth, five and a half, and eight and a half. Turn it to the short side and score it at one and a fourth and five. All right, now, you wanna grab your bone folder and burnish those lines nice and crisp. This will help your box go together really well. All right, now take your scissors and we're gonna trim the score lines along the long side, both long sides. So snip those score lines like that. And then I want you to cut the corners off of each of the square tabs. All right, so just snip those off as you go. There we go. Now turn to the other side and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So snip and take the corners off. This box is your basic clamshell box. One end will fold over the other end. And we're just gonna adhere the little lunchbox decoration on the front and a matching piece on the back. So it has the illusion of being a lunchbox. All right, so here's what your box looks like right now. Now here in South Texas, I recommend using Tombow liquid glue. It's nice and hot and humid here, especially at the start of school. So this is my adhesive of choice. You're gonna put adhesive on the outside of each of those tabs, and you're gonna fold it up into the sides. And I keep these clothespins here so that I can just clip those closed and I don't have to stand here and hold them. I prefer the smaller clothespins, but these big ones work just as well. All right, so there we've got a box. Now this one, we're gonna, we're gonna adhere into these sides, okay? So again, repeat with your Tombow. You can use tear and tape, stamp and seal plus, um, whichever, whatever you prefer. All right, just make sure that those edges right there are flush with those other edges. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside, let it to dry, let it dry, put the lid on your glue so it doesn't dry closed. All right, now let's go ahead and do our coloring. We're gonna stamp our little guy. Hopefully I have made my paper big enough. We're gonna stamp him and his dog in memento black. All right, let's see if I can get them. We're gonna also fussy cut. So I'm not real worried about it being totally straight. All right, so I think we'll start with his shirt. I am gonna use Real Red to match our lunch box. We're gonna color his shirt with the light Real Red first. All right, and then I'm gonna come back with my dark red 
and I'm going to add a shadow here under his arm and under his chin and then just kind of outline those creases in the darker real red and then just take your your light real red and blend all of that together all right now for his little shorts I've got Tahitian tied and again I'm going to start with the light and we will add just a real dark shadow underneath his shirt. You wanna always put a shadow line wherever, wherever anything overlaps. And I'll put one right there where his little pant leg is overlapping the other. Now for his skin, again, choose whatever color you want. I think I'll start with number 800. These um, skin tone markers come all as one pack. That way you'll have a huge selection of skin tones and you can play around and see which ones match your family members and then you can use a variety for all kinds of projects. They're also good for non-skin too. I will use one for the little dog. Um, they're really good neutrals. Now I'm going to add some more over here kind of on this side of his face because that's where the shadow would be. And I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow under his hair. Okay, and then we'll do his arms and his legs. There we go. He kind of looks like Charlie Brown. Now I'm gonna take um, So Saffron Dark, and I'm just gonna kind of go down here on the front, add in some dark like that because the light's gonna be up here at the top of his head. So I'm gonna take my light and just kind of blend all that up so it's lighter up there at the top, almost leaving it white there like that, blending that dark color down at the bottom. All right, now for a little dog, let's just do 600. Let's see what that looks like. And you can test it and see. All right, he is so cute. He looks like a little wiener dog. So we'll color him all brown. And you can layer these colors to do to give yourself shadow since they we don't have a dark and a light of each color. Or you can pull in the others and use them as shadow and light and blend them all together. But I'm just going to layer the color. I'm just going to add a little bit there under his ear and a little bit down here like that maybe a little bit back like that all right that looks good now to fussy cut these there's no dies so you're gonna have to use your scissors and i recommend these paper snips which are nice and sharp and small small is the key because that's going to help you get in to all those little nooks and crannies all right, and then just cut off the cardstock as you go. I like to leave kind of a white border around my images so that I'm not cutting on the black line, but I'm leaving that border so that really your eye is only gonna see the black line and not necessarily my cutting job. Now he's got two little hairs that are poking up there. I'm just gonna cut those off. It'll be a little bit tricky to cut around those since they're so skinny. And I'm just slowly going around. Notice I'm keeping the paper in the center part of my blades on my scissors. Um, and just going a little bit at a time, I'm turning it with my opposite hand. Now be real careful when you go around his legs because they are tiny. And then just continue until you've gotten all the way back around. like that all right now for the little dog and actually i think i'm going to do a little bit more right here it looks like i left a little bit too much white we're going to mount him on white paper so really you're not going to see any of that white all right i'm going to cut off all this excess paper and do the exact same thing with our little dog He looks very happy to be following the little boy to school.
All right, we're almost there. Now I'm gonna, this gets a little bit tricky, so cut off that extra card stock there. And then come in this way and cut around. Now, if you're left-handed, this will be different. There we go. All right, so now for the front of our, of our lunch box, we're gonna need to cut a handle. I've already cut a blue stitched heart. Um, this is from the Celebration Tags dies out of Tahitian Tide uh, Glimmer Paper. We're gonna cut the handle using the largest fabulous frame right here. We're just gonna use this part. So you just need a piece of silver that fits about halfway. We're also gonna use the Blossoming Happiness dies. This little piece right here that looks like it'll make our paper look like it's been torn out of a notebook. Um, so we're gonna put that across there. So let's bring over our cut and emboss machine and do those two things. The silver foil is one of the options now during celebration. So if you're watching this before the end of August, 2022, silver foil is one of those things that you can choose for free when you spend $50. If it's after August, don't worry, it's still available for purchase in the catalog. All right, so see how we just made that? It's just half a frame, but we're gonna use it as a handle. And then for the top of this, we're gonna put this little um, border die right across the top. Go across there and voila. Okay, so let's make our little tag first. Um, we're using the sentiment that is from this stamp set that says, thanks for being a part of my life. I thought that was a great sentiment for a teacher. There we go, thanks for being a part of my life. Now we'll take our dimensionals and we'll put that heart up here like that. And the little boy. Now there are two little girls in this stamp set as well. You could easily switch the little boy out for one of the little girls if that is what you needed. We have three girls, so I would probably switch mine out for a girl if I was sending this to school. There we go, so cute. All right, so now we've got a piece of this gorgeous uh, cottage gingham designer series paper. And I've got two pieces of real red. We're gonna mat this piece of DSP, this gingham cottage designer series paper here on a piece of basic white. Again, remember those measurements are on that free PDF on my blog. We're gonna put that right there in the middle. Um, we're gonna take this and put some adhesive on the front of it. And put that right there. Make sure it's straight. All right, now a couple more dimensionals. And we'll get this piece right here. Now for the little lunchbox clip, I have our new little label punch, and we're just gonna punch one of these out and put that there to look like the latch. All right, like that. And then we'll take some of my very favorite ribbon, the black and white gingham ribbon, tie a little bow. You don't actually have to tie it onto the handle. We'll do a fake tie with a glue dot. Let's take your glue dot and put that right there. Okay, so there's our lunch box. Now the back side is exactly the same size, but I'm not gonna decorate it. If you wanted to decorate the back of your box, of course, feel free. Now for our box, let's come back, take off all the, the um, clothes pins, and it just closes like that. All right, so open, close. So I'm gonna put 
adhesive all over the front and the back. I'm gonna be extra generous with my glue. And we're gonna center this right there. Let me look at it and see if I've got it centered. That looks pretty good. And then we'll do the same back here. And I just kind of eyeball that, but you also want it to be able to sit because I guarantee you that teacher is going to put this on her shelf to display. So make sure it's even. And there you have it. How cute. Remember, it opens up like this, almost like a little book. All right, you guys, you've got a great, fun back to school teacher treat to make. Um, I hope you'll give it a try and I hope you'll give this adorable by my side stamp set another look if you haven't gotten it yet because it's a really really good one it's got some great sentiments all right hop over to my blog pinkbuggery.com grab that free pdf and make one for yourself thanks everybody bye-bye